to Crafty Purple Dragon Channel. I'm going to do a quick framing of this. I'm hoping it's going to be straightforward. Now, what I want to do first is um, I got one of these lint roller things from IKEA, and if I can get into it. I, as you know, have a dog. And why can't I get into this? So I end up with potentially dog hair on my pictures. And I do try to remove it, but I thought it might not be. Can't even get in this. Might not be a bad idea to go over the picture with a lint roller rather than trying to scrub at it. Oh, okay, right. Oh my god, making a mess of this. Aha, okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Good grief. How hard is it to get into a lint roller? If you're me, very. <laughs> right, there we go, there we go. So, my thought is, this, oh, it's picking up beads as well. No! Damn! <laughs> I never thought of that. Um... Right, cancel that. Where's my pen? And my glasses. Right, what I should have done first. Oh no, I've broke my pen. Damn. Good grief. Let's try again with a different pen. I think I'm going to have to glue my pen back together. Right. This, this one. Oops, where's it gone now? There. And that one's from there. And then this other one. Where's that from? Where's the hole? Oh, there. It's from there. <laughs> right, I should have rolling pinned it first, shouldn't I? Just make sure they were all stuck down. I thought I'd already rolling pinned it. Good grief. Right, let's try rolling pinning it then. I thought I'd already done. Right, so this is an idea may not work <laughs> if the sticky of the lint roller is more than the sticky on the picture. Oh, picked up another one there. Well, I suppose it does identify loose beads, which Maybe isn't a bad thing. Uh, right, where's that come from? Where's that from? There. Okay. Now what it can't do is pull out any hairs that are stuck under beads. But 
it has picked up a bit of debris so I don't think it's a bad idea um, but This sticky obviously isn't strong enough to compete against the sticky of the lint roller. Right, I'll give it one more pass. probably can't see but I can see it has picked up dirt, dust and fluff and stuff. Now is that better than doing a wipe or should I use a wipe as well to clean it off? I might do it anyway. wipe just to make sure that any wax residue has gone as far as I can also it helps identify if there are any beads that are lifted up and I can pop them back down there yeah. I can feel some beads lifting up in places Again, it's taken more stuff off, so I think I, I think I'll continue to use wipes, but I might also add the lint roller stage as well. Before we get started, please review these items. <sighs> what are you doing? I said before, not Bixby. God. These electronic devices, they're flipping needy, aren't they? Right, I've decided... Let me get it. I think this will look nice in a red frame. Now this frame is too big, so I am going to need a mat, a mount or whatever you call it. So I've got some white foam, funky foam, and I'm going to mount it onto that. So I need to trim it to start with. And we'll get rid of the washi tape. Now, what did I do with my book?
have I got that yeah I've got the I just want to keep the key but I don't need to keep that because I've already got it uh, so where's my ruler And I do not know where my small ruler is. So I'm going to have to use this huge thing that I've got. <coughs> to trim it up. And first of all, let's... those level okay so to trim it about there It kept getting stuck here. I don't know why. I feel like I've shaved. Managed to shave some aluminium off me. Bloody straight edge. That's annoying. Slivers of aluminium now. I need to file this down to make it smooth again. Bloody hell. I have to trim that up after. Uh, turn it round and ruin the other side as well. Why not? Do this. Straighten the edge thing again. That's about right. That's about right. do is stick those together right these short edges should be easier I have to go in the garage and find a metal file file down the edge of my straight edge which will make it not straight anymore god damn it right is that about right Finally, 
Oh, I've lost a bead there now. <sighs> right, so this obviously needs sealing. It is going behind perspex, but I think I'm going to seal it actually before I frame it. So... Should I seal it or should I just stick it behind glass, perspex, whatever? If I seal it, I won't be able to finish it today because I'll have to seal it and then I'll wait for it to dry. Can I be bothered? That didn't go well. I'll just trim that as well. Oh. Right, I'll just get that out of the way. Find my scissors. Also found the end of my drill pen. Oh, that's really annoying how that's broken off. It's quite a, quite a nice pen. Quite a nice pen. I should be able to glue it on, shouldn't I? Uh, right, let's just trim this a bit. I don't want to have to put anything around the edge, I just want it to be sat on the foam core, I don't really want to put any tape or ribbon or anything around the edge so I need to get rid of these, still some printed bits on this it's making my scissors all sticky Got sticky scissors, god damn it. And then there's an edge. Is it here? Yeah, I think it's alright actually. This should probably be closer. I should have just trimmed it with scissors to start with, shouldn't I? Right. 
actually wonky now. So I think I'm going to have to use tape, girl. Somewhere I've got a glue tape roll that I've not tried yet. I want to try. Oh, here it is. Okay. Right, first of all, I need to. needs to be, I remember the dimensions from something, but let's open this frame. Right, it needs to be the same size as this paper or the cardboard. I don't want to risk cutting the cardboard, so let's line this up. Do it this way, hopefully, it'll be easier. than using a tape measure. Alright, will a pencil work? Let's see. Oops. Pencil round. Good enough. It saves me having to faff about with a tape measure, doesn't it? So I need me straight or oh, not so straight edge anymore. Avoid that edge. Do it this way. So I've got more purchase on it. In fact, let's do this one first. Make the long end less long. Okay, so. About there. Dog, what are you doing? About there. About there? 
right. That's about right. Stab myself with the knife. There, there. So that should now fit inside the frame. Let's give that a try. on here so um, I'm going to fit, put some of this tape that I haven't tried yet on the back of here I don't know if it'll be strong enough Quite a bit on. I think I need to press more consistently. Ooh. Oh no, I'm marking the foam. This easier than double sided? I mean, it is double sided tape. Is it easier than the roll where you have to pick the top off? Yes and no, I think. More of a gel, isn't it? Crafter's companion, this is. Right, and then I've got a big gap along the top here. Now let's do that. Right. Now, to make sure it's in the middle before I turn it over. I'm going to just eyeball it I think. Looks about right. Mm, it's maybe a little bit down on this side. <laughs> I know it comes up. Does that mean it's going to stay on? That's the thing. Uh, right. That's better. It's better. Right, I'm going to squash it on with the um, rolling pin again. Try and get it to stick. To the foam. <clears throat> oh, 
Now I think I need some sort of tape or ribbon. Although it's not too bad actually. But maybe just to stick it down a little bit. I don't know. What do you think? I might leave it like that actually. Leave it like that. See what it looks like in the frame. okay do you I think because the foam is white the little bit of canvas white canvas that's around the edge is sort of um, masked now there's a little bit of hair there How's that got on? Uh, tweezers, please, tweezers, come on. The problem with using this foam core as a mount is it marks very easily. You have to be careful when you're messing about not to mark it. Like it dents easily. I can't get that out. That's better. Right, but the dog. I already lint rolled this and blew in wiped it and there's still dog hair. Good grief. Right, I've just noticed there's a little bit of print in there that I've not snipped off. I don't know that you'd notice it and I can't really get at it to cut it off so if I was to consider putting anything around the edge I don't think I've got anything really that's suitable No, I'll leave it as it is. Right, so I need to um, not put it on the floor because there's loads of dog hairs on the floor. I've got my little labels. to get these um, printed up I suppose rather than keep cutting them out so it's just a little label when did I complete it Completed May. Completed May 
2019 by me. get some tape to cover that So this is actually going to be hung in our library which is basically the our stairs <laughs> but you never know it may become an heirloom and in the future people might want to know who, who uh, did it so <laughs> That's why I'm going to put this on it. There we go. Plump. Just to say I did it. Now then. Uh, uh, uh. I need to take the... Cover off the perspex. Oh, are you kidding me? Stop it. And this is the awkward bit. In fact, just give me a minute. Okay, so I need to take this cover off. The acetate looks like it's scratched actually. Well, I can do about that. So if it's on the other side. Come on. There we go. Right, goes there, like so, come on, here, there we go, where the other rubbish go, oh. <clears throat> okay, then we put the picture in, That's not sticking. I did none of this stuff will come on to it. Using it the wrong way. Using it the wrong way. There, my derp. 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 
All right. Should work now. And then that can go there. Just for a little bit of extra thickness. And then I think it's that way around. Let's have a look. Yeah. Put these tabs down. And that, take this off. That's annoying. And that is that framed. Ta da! So you can't see it, but you can't see it all anyway. I think it looks quite nice in a red frame. Picks out the red in the books. Makes it a little bit brighter. Looks nice. So. Uh, this picture was one that I was given to review. The cost at the time I chose it was $13.76. The frame is £2.50. And the mount is a pound. See if Alexa can convert. Alexa! What's thirteen dollars seventy six in pounds? Thirteen US dollars and seventy six cents is ten pounds and eighty three pence. Ten eighty three, okay. So ten pound eighty three for the canvas and three pound fifty for the frame and mount. And that's fourteen pounds thirty three pence completed. It's not bad. It's all right, that's on the outside. I thought it was on the inside. So there we go. That's the cat library cat. done and dusted thank you very much for watching if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you're notified when I upload future videos if you've got any comments questions or suggestions please leave them in the comments section below thanks very much for your time and I'll see you next time bye